Here we have three circles and three points, A, B, and C. If we looked at the blue circle, the smallest circle that contains point A, we can see that it's a unit circle, and I didn't write this, but they gave us the coordinates for the point A. It was square root 2 over 2 and square root 2 over 2. So giving us those coordinates, we know the angle here must be 45 degrees. And this forms a triangle, and the hypotenuse of the triangle then it must be 1 because that's the radius of the circle. Now let's go look at the next triangle we could form using point B. So if we went up to B and drop this down, and then we would have this side, we can see that we'd have another triangle that would still have a 45 degree angle in it and its hypotenuse would be 2 because we can see right here the radius of that green circle is 2. So I'm going to draw those triangles a little bigger over here so we can see them. So this one's hypotenuse is 2 and then the first triangle that contained the point A is right here and this one's hypotenuse from here to here is 1 and we know that angle was 45 degrees. Now I have similar triangles. Anytime you've got a right triangle and you put this line in it to divide and make another triangle like this where those lines were parallel, then it forms similar triangles. And so the ratios of their sides are the same. So if I took a piece out of the little triangle, the hypotenuse, and then I put it over a side of the triangle, and the side of the triangle would be square root 2 over 2, because that's what both of these sides of the triangle are, so square root 2 over 2, then I could find a corresponding piece out of the green triangle by taking the same ratio. So we would need to take the hypotenuse, which was 2, over one of the sides. Now because the angle was 45, this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle and the both sides are congruent. If you didn't have that they were both congruent, you'd have the corresponding side to use, but both sides are square root 2 over 2 in triangle A. So I'll just use this side up here, x, and that would find me y. This is also x. That would find me the x for my points that I'm trying to find. So I'm just going to put an x in right here. And then if I clear this of fractions, I'll have x equal square root of 2. And looking on my triangle, this is x and this is y, but they are both the same length. So my coordinates for b would be square root 2 and square root 2. It's, this triangle is scaled by a factor of 2 since the hypotenuse is twice as long. So we could take the points in A and multiply them both by 2 and get the points in B. Now if I need the points in C, <clears throat> I'm going to do a similar thing, no pun intended, but it will build similar triangles. And so when I build the similar triangle for C, we can see the comparison between the sides. The little red one was 1, and the uh, radius of the circle for C is 3. So we would need to just simply take 3 times A's coordinates, and we would have C's coordinates.